been put off and Will it's a piece in all so Welcome back to my channel. This video is spontaneous AF, but I just happened to stumble upon a book tag that sounded so hilarious that I had to film right away. And luckily I found some books that kind of fit the questions. The tag I'm going to do today is the toilet book tag and was created by my lovely fellow booktube friend Helene from Books by Lanes and this tag has a lot of text so I will have to read from my phone please excuse that and this tag comes with certain scenarios and the questions arise from that scenario number one your bladder is full you have been dying to pee for two hours finally you made it home you sprint upstairs only to find the bathroom already occupied. Question. A book that you look very much forward to reading but never did. And for this question I have to go with Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I have been wanting to read this book for ages. I think for at least two years. And it took a lot of time for me to get this book because I'm kind of picky with English books. And as far as possible they have to be hardbacks and these are freaking expensive so I got it as a birthday present last year in November and still haven't picked it up and I'm not sure when I will but what I've read of the book was always really good really interesting but I'm not really that sure if this book is something for me anymore because my reading tastes have changed a lot this year so yeah but I still plan on reading it someday, hopefully, maybe. Scenario number two. You are over at your friend's house. All of a sudden you feel the cramps coming in and you know that a very big nasty shit is on its way. So now is not the time to panic. You find a stupid excuse to go home immediately. And the question for that? A book that you had to justify reading. For this question I don't really can recall that I had to justify myself for reading a certain book to somebody but there are a few books where I kind of feel that I would have to justify myself when talking to someone about those books because they're not really that well loved I would say and I have two books for the question a German and an English one let's go with the English one first it's the retribution of Mara Daya back then everyone was so in love with the series but then the third book got put off and put off again and then when it finally came out basically all the hype was gone and most people were kind of disappointed with this book and for me it was my favorite of the series yeah i liked the first book i kind of despised the second and the third book i was just in love with and i think no one would understand me for this and the second book is morgenroth the title could be translated into Dawn by Tanya Heitmann. I actually did a review on this book way back when I started my channel. That's the last time when I actually read this book. And with Tanya Heitmann, especially with this book, there has been so much hate. And maybe I kind of had to justify myself for actually liking it. But basically... Um, I believe people were kind of disappointed with this book because it promised vampires and there are actually not really any vampires in this book and most of the people found it pretty boring. It was one of the books that had a really pretty cover therefore got picked up a lot in the bookstores. Sold pretty decently because there's actually a prequel to this one and I hope someday there will be a continuation still. And then when they read it they were so disappointed and I picked this book up back then and I actually ended up really enjoying this book and really enjoying the author. I'm not so sure if I would enjoy these books still. Scenario number three. Blissfully ignorant, you open the door to your bathroom. Boom! A naked family is already in there. They 
forgot to lock the door. The question, a book that made you feel uncomfortable. And for this one, I could have also said two books, but they are kind of interchangeable. And so I used the book for another question. The protagonist of Bones and All by Camille de Angelis, Mara? Maren. <laughs> I never actually ended up finishing this book because it was just so weird and it made me really uncomfortable with the protagonist and the story itself. It just... No, it was just too weird for me. <laughs> I kind of still question myself why I even picked it up in the first place and thought that it would be a good book. Scenario number four. After taking a shit, you feel very relieved. However, the smell is really nasty. You use every deodorant and perfume that you can find and try to cover it up. The question, a shitty book that had a pretty cover. And for this question I'll go with a book that probably has been bashed on this channel already quite a bit and will be some more. The Broken Road by Richard Paul Evans. I did an entire reading diary video on this one because I actually thought it would be a good book. <laughs> and was really looking forward to reading it and wanted to feature the author on my channel because uh, he's one of my favorite authors and then this book was just wow this book was really bad it does still have a pretty cover it looks really gorgeous but the inside just can't keep up in any way and the scenario kind of really perfectly describes this book in my opinion Sorry, <laughs> not sorry. Scenario number five. You have been sitting on the toilet for two hours, contemplating life as one does, and you keep reliving that one argument that you had with your friend, when all of a sudden the most clever and witty rejoiner pops into your head. The question, a book with witty characters. Quote favorite lines, if you can. The book is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. I don't necessarily have a character where I say, this, oh my God, this was so witty and he's so, amazing but I do have some books where I found the writing style really to be sticking out to me as actually pretty funny and making me laugh a lot and this was kind of the first book that started this trend for me I guess and so I'm going with this one so kind of Lena is one of the wittiest characters I know and Jen Evans Welch one of the wittiest writing authors and I still go with this 100% my heart was going like a million beats per minute. You'd think life in a cemetery would be a lot more dead. But um, my first official cemetery joke. And first official eye rolling at own cemetery joke. I said, casting one more hopeful glance back into the house, but it was as quiet as a tomb. Ah, second cemetery joke. This is sort of like a second honeymoon for us. I've wanted to visit Italy my whole life and now here I am. You sure are a lucky duck living here. Quack quack, I thought. Since I'm at it, let's take another bite of uh, pineapple. <laughs> Scenario number six. You walk into the bathroom and discover with disgust that sprinkles are all over the toilet seat and on the wall. You are reminded, yet again, that you live with a very nasty species. The male species. A book with a nasty and or annoying protagonist. I mean, Charles James from The Broken Road would also qualify. But I went with Grey from The Devil of Nanking because she was also a really weird and annoying and strange character. As I said before, The Devil of Nanking and Bones and All could kind of interchange Wow, Grey was just... Wow, oh, Grey! Yay! Hooray! Um, yeah, she was just first really uncomfortable as a character and the scenario of the book was just so weird and no, not my cup of tea and just the way it was written and the way Grey told the story was just not my thing. Scenario number seven. You sit innocently on the toilet taking a shit, when suddenly with horror you realize that there is no toilet paper left. That's really a horror scenario. The question, a book with a frustrating ending. I'm kind of stretching the frustrating, it was not 
really that frustrating of an ending for me but I kind of was displeased with the ending of The Book of Mirrors by E.O. Chirovici hopefully didn't butcher this name I really enjoyed the book don't get me wrong but since this is a book of in my opinion where everyone can make up his own truth and everyone kind of decides uh, this the story for him or herself I would say and what he wants to focus on I focused on another part of the story that wasn't that present in the end and I want would have wanted to have more of those story that I initially really loved and would I would have wanted to have more of it that's kind of why it was frustrating that it wasn't like that this puzzle piece for me wasn't solved and the last scenario scenario number eight you go to the bathroom to pee you start checking social media you text your best friend you watch youtube videos and without you knowing three hours have passed question a book you flew through re slash read in one sitting and this one is kind of a cheap question to be honest because first i am a very slow reader this year so i haven't really finished a book in one sitting this year at all and i chose a book that i actually haven't yet finished but bear with me okay it's the biter the first book in the isolator series by Riki Kawahara as I said I've not finished this book I'm actually not really reading it at the moment but I started reading it on Friday and basically was almost halfway through on Saturday and I really spent most of my day reading this book and really actually enjoying it it was the fastest I've gotten in any book this year at least it feels this way so I went ahead with this one but it's actually really short it has like only over 200 pages because it's a light novel and that's it for the toilet book tag I hope you guys enjoyed my answers and now I think I have to tag a few people Mime if you're seeing this and if you want to I think every of your viewers who are interested in books would Quite, be quite happy for you to make such a unique tag. I tag one book, one review. Kitty from Beauty Camp Camp. As usual. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, which was really spontaneous. And I will go and eat some more pineapple that my father brought me. And I hope you have a great evening. I also hope you enjoyed this video. And... I will see you guys soon with another video. Goodbye!